Joey wasn't buying it. Junior told me after the fight he indeed did hurt his right hand, wasn't able to dig like he, he had in, pre in previous fights. Uh, Joey really questions where Junior's going with his career at this point. Okay, well, the future will tell it. Earlier today, Explosion visited the lightweight division to preview an outstanding prospect out of New York named Tiger Martinez. He came in with a 12-0 record and three knockouts. His opponent was Geraldo Sanchez. We'll pick up action in the first round. Tiger Martinez, do you want to be called a young pugilist? He calls, he calls George Foreman young. Oh, and he comes sprinting out of his corner. Tiger Martinez, highly touted, up-and-coming lightweight, I would assume at this point, came in at 138 pounds today. Geraldo Sanchez came in at 141. Undefeated, though, Martinez. He's 12-0. Bit of a light hitter, though. He's got three knockouts. Manager and cornerman Nelson Fernandez couldn't tout him highly enough to me. Won a lot of amateur titles. He's got a lot of composure for a young fighter. You can see that right off the bat, Arnie. Very Turned pro sorry. back in 91, has an unusual two-year lapse in his record. Disappeared for two years, then uh, got back in and has been right on track since 1993. Did you say unusual lapse? Do you know something I don't know? I was was for those three years? As we both know, a lot of fighters uh, seem to come and go and they, and they take hiatuses or they have prison sentences and interrupt their boxing, whatever the case is. But uh, we don't know what the reason for his uh, career interruption was. Nevertheless, been back on track since June 18, 1993. Reeled off 11 more wins to bring him to 12 and 0. This is scheduled six rounder. Of course, we're talking about Tiger Martinez. He's in the white with the red stripe. His opponent, Geraldo Sanchez, in the red. Oh, it's a big body shot. Sanchez's face already starting to take on the uh, crimson tone of his trunks. Sanchez has the interesting style of not throwing any punches for 30 or 40 seconds at a time. And Martinez just content to jab in the middle of the ring and drop the right hand in when he can. So far it's an easy fight. We're under a minute to go. Round number one, scheduled for six. Nice little two-step on the part of Martinez. He likes when he lands a shot. And Sanchez is striking a football. Sanchez landed a left hook, but uh, Martinez was unfazed by it. I like the way uh, Tiger puts his punches together. Nice short combinations. Well, with all due respect to him, though, he doesn't have much coming off the gloves right now of Geraldo Sanchez. That's being charitable. Almost like a heavy bag workout. It's under 10 seconds to go in round one. We're scheduled for six on the Cedric Kushner Sports Network as a good right hand lands the end of the round by Tiger Martinez. You hang a picture, you change its position, and soon your wall looks like a dartboard. Introducing the Does It Handy Hanger. Nothing does it like does it. Just place a handy disc on the applicator and watch the special adhesive heat up. Press it on the wall, and that's it. Use the Does It Handy Hanger on painted walls, on wood paneling, on wallpaper. It safely holds up to 10 pounds and more, yet it can be removed as easily as it attaches without leaving any mark at all. Does it does it on tile. It even does it on glass. And look, your does it handy hanger also comes with these utility hooks. Use them in the kitchen, the bathroom, even in your tool shed. You get everything for $29.95. Order your does it handy hanger now. Use your credit card and call toll free 1 800 321 5100. Or send $29.95 plus $5.95 shipping to Does It Handy Hanger, PO Box 7129, Department 404, Buffalo, New York. Round number two is scheduled six, and Tiger Martinez sprints out of his corner again as he did in round number one. A very impressive first run for young Martinez, coming in undefeated at 12-0. He's got three knockouts in his 12 wins. He's got good hand speed, Arnie, and also he's been using a lot of feints, which is a sign of a more experienced fighter. He has a lot of potential. A very checkered amateur career. 
Sanchez has four knockouts in his seven wins, so he's got a little bit of punching power. Can't even seem to get close, though, to Martinez. Every time he throws something, it's really in slow motion. You don't want to throw a looping right over the top like that. He's throwing some very amateurish uh, shots. And Martinez, Martinez landed a nice one-two from the outside. He thought about moving in to finish him and then didn't come in and realized he could have. Nice right uppercut by Tiger. A little more than a minute gone by in round number two. If Tiger keeps that jab moving, really, it, it, it's a fight that, that he's going to make easy on himself. Now, he started this round by using it and doubling up on it, and he kind of got away from it. Now he's carrying his left low, and it looks like he wants to trade. Seems to be having a lot of fun in there. At the, at the risk of sounding like Sean O'Grady, who loves to say, hey, he's having fun in there in this fight and having a good time. There he does that two-step. When he lands, he likes to kick his feet up from behind. But he's he really working. Sanchez in big trouble right now. Working over the body really well, backing him up to the ropes, trying to get those hands to come down a little bit lower and then go to the head. Sanchez has no place to go. He doesn't want to come forward and take more, and he can't move back as the ropes are there. Sanchez, uh, Sanchez is a very awkward, unorthodox kind of fighter. You don't even know where the punches are going to come from. I guess in that sense, it makes him dangerous, and probably in that sense only. Oh, and there's a beautiful left to right combination. Sends Sanchez sprawling backwards. He takes a deep breath. He doesn't want to be in this fight, John. Barely gets up. Really milks the count for all it's worth. The referee asks him if he wants to go on. He says yes. It's almost like he's waiting to be talked out of it. Let's see Mart if he can finish the job. Martinez showing a lot of poise. Notice how he circled around, didn't come running across the ring. About oh! seconds ago in a big straight right hand. Drops Sanchez again, and this Martinez looks very good. We're going to be hearing a lot from him in the future. Fight's it's over. over. It's all over. Doesn't jump up and down, did a short little movement. That was some right hand, Arnie. And as you mentioned earlier, a lot of poise for a young fighter. Looking very good. I don't think Sanchez ever really recovered from that first knockdown, even though he got up. I don't think Sanchez recovered from the introduction, John. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a look here at action from round number two. Here's the first knockdown. Look at that left-right combination. It's a classic left-right. The old one-two. And we take a look at second knockdown. There's a right over the top. Lands flush on the jaw. And Sanchez just as happy to stay down there and call it a day. And we're going to go up for our official announcement hey, from our ring announcer, who likes to introduce young pugilist, Ed Darien. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Earl Brown stops this bout at 2 minutes and 44 seconds of the second round. And a winner by a TKO and still undefeated, Tiger Martinez. Well, Nelson Martinez. Fernandez told me I was going to like this kid, and I really do. Tiger Martinez improving to 13 and 0 now has four knockouts, showing some good punching power. And Geraldo Sanchez, his record drops down to seven and four.